Росіяни настільки бояться української букви, що одразу її замальовують. Свічку літери «Ї» використовують на окупованих територіях. Солідарність з усіма, хто чинить одне. Altyazı M.K. Celebrating. Uh, well, I'm at work at the moment, um, but hopefully later a nice meal and perhaps something bubbly. So, who did you bump into? I bumped into Tom Selleck. What? Magnum? Magnum P.I.? Magnum P.I. and Three Men and a Baby, yes, absolutely. Wow, when was this? Oh, this was a while back. It was in the 90s and I was working in London. Doing what? I worked in a posh saddlery shop in Bond Street, so selling horse riding gear. Oh, okay. Uh, and uh, so he came in, and what happened? He came in, and it was a quiet day. There was no one else in the shop that particular moment, and I just nipped out to make a cup of tea, and I came back on the shop floor, and he was there. And I sort of stumbled a little bit and said, Oh, hello, would you like a cup of tea? <laughs> and? And he had a cup of tea, and we had a cup of tea and a, a natter together. What were and, you talking um, about? Oh, we chatted about a long time ago now, but he told me why he was in London, I forget now, it was filming something. Yeah. And he was telling me about his ranch in America, and his horses and things, and he really did. He was such a nice, genuine, down-to-earth guy, no airs or graces, really nice guy. I'm really good-looking as well. <laughs> The Habanera from Fizé's Carmen. The Barcelona Symphony Orchestra was conducted by Pablo Gonzalez. We also heard the second movement of Beethoven's Piano Sonata No. 8, beautifully performed on Classic FM by Daniel Barenboim. I've had a text from Alexandra in Kent on 6.18.12. She says, good morning, Stephen. About being nervous, I admire what you're doing today, improvising in front of people. I have a job interview on and that includes the UK and peace and case you're number one. OK, let's go to Wes Streeting, who is the Shadow Health and Social Care Secretary. There's a chance, I guess, in a, in a month or so, you may be in charge of the Department for Health. So how are you going to raise this money? Well, quite simply, we are going to clamp down on tax avoidance, which means that people who owe HMRC their taxes and aren't paying them get away with it. We're going to clamp down on that. And we are going to put the money into, alongside closing the loopholes enjoyed by the non doms we're going to put that money into uh, delivering 40,000 more appointments in the NHS every week. Uh, we are going to uh, do that through extra evening and weekend clinics, a, an approach that's been proven to work um, in a number of hospitals, small number of hospitals, but we need to see working right across the NHS. And we're also going to double the number of diagnostic scanners, not just more scanners, but AI-enabled Ну і там далі, як відбувається процес. 
у позасудовому порядку або у судовому порядку. Проте, у зв'язку з тим, що було оформлення за Європутком, і це зафіксовано страховими компаніями, це є належною фіксацією дорожньої транспортної пригоди, що є підставою для встановлення того, що не покривається страховою допустою часу. Почему на сутки експерт? А якщо сума збитків є більшою, ніж та, яку вже визначив експерт? Чи є шанси, ну, якби, підвіхати цю суму, тому 